Hey, Trevor here. Uh, it's really, really late as I'm recording this episode of the Carrot Cast. I'm in my truck driving home. Uh, you might be able to hear that in the background a little bit. Trevor Truck Talk here. Um, it is right now 1.11 a.m. Uh, leaving the office, heading home. And I'm probably going to work at home another two hours, which I haven't worked at home at night for, shoot, probably a year maybe over over a little year. I haven't worked on a weekend at home in a year and a half. And that's something that, you know, I really built intentionality into my business and into Carrot and my other businesses this past three to four years that I want to build the business, you know, so it it is the exact way that I want it and that we can serve the people we want to serve and it best serves us, you know, so you don't get burnt out on doing the thing so much so that you don't have the energy to do the mission and uh so yeah i got into some some habits which i think were great habits and some other ones that kind of um added some complacency in my life that i talked about on a recent episode of the carrot cast but what i want to talk about right now is the reason i'm leaving the office so late and why i'm kind of why i'm kind of going against some of those rules that i had set for myself way back when is those rules have definitely served me and served us very, very well. You know, we've been able to grow the company, been able to spend a ton of time with my family. Of course, I really want to always spend more time with my family and my loved ones and my friends. Um, but during this past year, like I said, I added complacency. So on a recent podcast, I talked about adding chaos to your life, chaos to your schedule to get big stuff done because sometimes if you try to work things into your normal day, if you try to work things in your normal schedule, your normal work hours, it's not going to get done. So you got to throw some chaos in the mix. You got to throw some chaos in the mix with your team sometimes, uh, which isn't always good for high follow throughs, low quick starts. They're going to get really, really ruffled by doing that. Um, and that's something I had to prepare my team going into this week. I'm like, Hey, it's going to be hard for all of us, for many of you this week. Uh, you're probably going to be rolling your eyes that Trevor's doing this, you know, again and kind of throwing uh, a grenade in, in the week for many people. And you're probably going to go, well, why don't we plan this out further and really get it locked in as a project and all that kind of stuff. And you're right, but this is the way this week's going to happen and we'll get through it and let's nail it. And here's what's on the other side. And so I casted that vision to them that this is an exercise in breaking this complacency, breaking this pattern, mainly on our marketing side. We have not had complacency in our customer success side, in the development side. It's been on the marketing side. It's been our, on, on my side of growing the company with marketing. But the funny thing is we've grown this company faster than we've ever grown in the past year. So we're, we're up leveling. We're up leveling. I want to throw this challenge at you. Like I said, I'm driving home after one o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna get in a couple more hours of work done at home. I haven't done this for quite some time. What do you have right now in your life that you need to just shock into, you know, shock the complacency out of your system? And what do you need to do that? For me, it was placing a deadline on doing this webinar because I haven't done a webinar for our community in over a year, a live webinar, uh, except for our carrot customers and our coaching calls. And I love doing them. It gives me energy. Uh, I know our audience loves them and I've neglected that. And honestly, it's a great growth activity too. It's always something that helps to drive new interest in new clients. So uh, that's where two weeks ago I said, hey, this is happening. And of course, (laughs) we had uh, Thanksgiving last week. So I didn't get a a whole lot of the work done on the webinar then. Uh, This week, Sunday, Monday, I got sick with a stomach bug. So I I had like the stomach flu or food poisoning for a day and a half. So that knocked me out Monday. I wasn't able to do anything on Monday. And uh, it it was just weird. Our nanny was out of town Monday. Uh, So my wife worked a half a day that day. So I had Sydney, our youngest at home. So it was me sick, Sydney and I hanging out watching movies. And uh, that was uh, my... Uh, day number one to work on webinar so that day was shot and I just didn't feel good day two was Tuesday which was yesterday and it was me buckling down and uh, my day kind of got hijacked I had a few meetings that were scheduled a long time in advance I couldn't move Um, I kind of got distracted with some stuff I didn't set the boundaries with my team that hey I can't be bugged at all because I got got to get in my flow so that's all on me not on the team and then today rolling into today 
and uh, I didn't have that momentum and literally didn't pick up until the afternoon and so I've got a big day tomorrow <laughs> I've got a big day tomorrow of really putting together the best possible presentation and content that I can for you for our audience sharing some really cool stuff sharing what our clients are doing what our top clients are doing um, you know when we've analyzed these patterns we analyze the patterns of what the top clients are doing and here's what they were doing we're gonna lay it out uh, the cool thing is it's not complicated stuff. It's stuff that we teach. There are some tweaks to it that we found in the data patterns and talk with the clients. It's going to be really awesome. We're putting it together in a way that we've never put it together. So I'm pumped about it. But what I'm not sure of is whether I'm going to get it done in time. So wish me luck uh, if, you're gonna, if you were on that call. Because uh, by the time you're going to listen to this, the call would have already happened. But if you're on the call, awesome. Let me know how the feedback, you know, let me know the feedback and how it was. And if it wasn't quite what you expected, now maybe you know, because there's a couple lessons in here, okay? Uh, the, the first lesson is the adding chaos to the mix definitely works to push past that complacency, to throw the grenade in the system, to really make sure you shake things up and what do you need to shake up in, in your life to remove the complacency. The second lesson there is uh, that I need to carry forward is how can I better pr protect my time to add, you know, uh, so, some time barriers, some deadlines that are a little bit sooner than the last minute. Because me as a high quick start, low fall through, I thrive on last minute. I always, always have in my life. So if you're the same way, if you're last, if you're a last minute person, people always kind of rag on you for being um, uh, procrastinating. That's not a bad thing. So you have to make sure that you have great people around you, make sure that you block your time well and you, you protect it well, which I didn't do good this week. Um, if you're a person who likes to plan things out and it's gotta be just so, maybe you're the person who probably needs a little bit of a high quick start to push you and nudge you and, 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 and help you to push past those things and think bigger and move faster. So we can both use each other on both sides of it. But uh, yeah, th this is something every now and then, like I said, I like to have a late night. It's, it's not about the grind. I actually am one of those people that I, I hate it. I hate it when I look on Facebook and people glorify the grind. I hate it when people post on Facebook, hey, I'm at, back at the grind and it's five in the morning. I have nothing, nothing against five in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning, um, wake ups or, or go to bedtimes. I think if that's you, sweet, I love it, go crush it. But what I do have a problem with is glorifying the grind for the grind's sake because the grind is not something you can be in consistent, consistently. It's not something that you can be in all the time. If you're in the grind all the time, you're going to be burnt out pretty damn fast. I've been there. Okay, but you can be in the grind for a quick period. You can be in the grind for a day, for a week, for three weeks, and then pop back out of it. But I honestly feel you can't be in the grind perpetually. Now you might be going, okay, well how do guys like Gary Vaynerchuk do it? How do guys like this person do it or that person do it? I'm not saying you can't physically do it. I'm not saying that at all, you can. If your mission pushes you big enough, the grind doesn't become a grind. And that's the differentiator, that's the key difference, is the grind is a mindset. It's not an activity, a, the grind is a mindset, not an activity. If you're saying that you're in the grind, you're probably not in your flow. You're probably not insanely pumped about your mission the moment that you think that you're in the grind. You're just doing, you're putting your head down and you're just pushing through the tough work. Okay? So think about that whenever, when the next time you think, man, I'm in the grind, I've been grinding. There's two things to do there. Either really reevaluate your mission and is your mission big enough that's firing you up to where the grind does not become the grind anymore. Right now, it's late, my throat hurts, I've got a long next day ahead of me, I'm probably gonna get two or three hours of sleep tonight. I don't consider this the grind at all. I love this, this is mission work, okay? This is just me putting my head down for 24 to 36 hours and just getting some stuff done. I'm pumped about it. But if I was doing this to get caught up on a bunch of busy work, it'd be a grind. So where are you at? What have you been doing today? What have you been doing this week? Have you been grinding? 
or have have you been pushing relentlessly forward, uh, relentlessly toward your mission? They're clear, clear differences. All right, and if you haven't figured out your mission, if you haven't figured out your mission in your purpose, I've done podcast episodes, and let's go check the archives at carrotcast.com or find it on iTunes. I'm heading into my gate, push the button, get in here, uh, see my family, give my wife a kiss. As I speak, our house is being renovated, actually not like this second, but uh, our house is being renovated. Our kitchen got tore out on Monday, so we're living completely without a kitchen. Our refrigerator is actually like pretty much in front of our uh, bedroom door. We don't really have a living room. Our living room is halfway done. We have no furniture, so we're kind of living in a house right now where the kids' rooms are mostly done. We seem to get the trim done there in their room. Everything else is done, new carpet, all that kind of stuff. Our bedroom is gonna be the last thing that's gonna be done, but it's nice still. We're just gonna do the bathroom. Um, the living room is all done, floors, new windows, new paint. Uh, awesome stuff in there, except we're redoing the fireplace and putting it built in for an entertainment center and all that kind of stuff. But the kitchen is currently studs, and they're going to be putting new windows in, uh, and then everything else goes in. So, yeah, that's what my life is like right now. Very blessed, very thankful, but looking forward to this phase wrapping up at the house. But we love you guys. Uh, thank you for this. And hopefully you take away a few things, change the mindset and the grind, okay? Also, when you need to, put your head down, create that chaos. And if you got to stay up until 1, 2, 3, 4 in the morning, every now and then do it, but don't do it every night because that's not uh, good for your health, your family, or your mission, okay? And then uh, just make sure that you have the people around you that will support um, that will support that chaos, you know, that will support those little blips of chaos and make sure you're casting that good vision to them on why it's important. You kind of break that complacency cycle, uh, to up level yourself. All right. So have an amazing night. I'm going to get in the house, get some water, uh, get a little bit more work done and, uh, really look forward to serving you guys, serving the community, uh, tomorrow and hopefully bringing in some more carrot clients too. You know, that's always one of my missions is growing our carrot community, whether it's listeners, um, but also customers because customers are honestly where we can best help people. You know, this podcast our free content, uh, things like that. They fire me up. Um, I love them. They give me energy, but the place we can best help people are when they're clients of ours because that's where we are able to invest our resources. That's where we're able to invest our time, invest our money with you. And uh, that's why I so passionately sell what we have to offer. I know we're the best in the world at what we do. I know we're the best in the world at helping real estate uh, real estate investors and soon-to-be agents generate leads online better through content and through SEO and through performance. I know we are. Um, we've got the data to show. We've got the investor roster of the biggest house flippers and wholesalers in the country and soon-to-be agents in the country using us. And that's not by accident. Okay. And I also know that once you get in our fold, that hopefully we can help, we can start to change your mindset on what business should be and what business is about. It's not about turning the deal. It's not about just turning that, that commission. It's not about just making your client smile. That's part of it. But it's about changing the way that your client thinks about their life every single moment after they interact with you. You know, changing the way that your client um, sees and interacts with other businesses every time they ever interact with any other business after you. Okay, and really changing the way that that client thinks about just their every day. You know, how can you plant those seeds that impact them to be to be those little butterflies that, that may create that butterfly effect out there for other people uh, for creating positive change? All right, that's what we can do once you really come inside the community. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna hit the hay, and I'm kind of rambling now, but we will talk soon. Check out the other episodes of the Caracast at caracast.com. And please, hey, please, uh, it's 125. I'm wrapping up a, a podcast. Head over to iTunes. And if you enjoy the Caracast, if it's provided any value in your life um, that's going to help you save time or help you uh, get better distinction on what you should be doing in business or refocus on certain things, let me know. Let me know. Give us a rating in there. Give me a rating and review and feedback. Okay, because those ratings are one of the things that iTunes looks for to boost podcasts up in rankings. And the more ratings and rankings and shares and downloads and subscribes we have, 
uh, the higher in the ratings we can get and the more people we can spread this message to, to really change the way that entrepreneurs and real estate entrepreneurs especially uh, operate business, inspire others, and use their business as that tool to fuel their passion and their mission. All right, good night.